Hi guys, today I want to do a video um, showcasing a spring look that I am loving, utilizing mostly um, unique products. Um, there are actually two brand new products in the line that I have just fallen absolutely in love with. And so today I'm going to show you a great way to use them both. So to start out with my face, um, for springtime I feel like you have to kind of bridge into summer. I want to feel like uh, I, it's spring and my face and skin looks more alive, but I haven't gotten any natural color from the sun. So today's look is going to show you how to utilize uh, bronzer to do that. And so what uh, I've done so far on my face is just basically do um, my uplift serum under my eyes and then um, I did the divine moisturizer as well as uh, the glorious primer. And if you're not familiar with Unique's primer, I can show you that right here. It's actually, it's clear. So um, what you're seeing now is kind of, this is the natural state of things. So, um, and I also filled in my brows just to not take up time in the video doing that. So the first thing that I want to do is I actually um, like to do my eye makeup first before I do my full face. So I'm going to utilize um, some of the Mineral Touch uh, foundation. And the color that I'm using is Velour. And I'm going to take a concealer brush that is flat and just pick up some of that product and use it as a base on my eyelids. Um, even though I put primer on there, it's again this time of year with allergies and everything um, and being a fair skinned, I definitely feel like my eyelids look really purpley and veiny. So this gives a really nice neutral base for me to work with. Okay. And then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the eye. So the first pigment that I'm going to use is Innocent. And that is kind of a yellowy color. And I'm going to use um, the liner shader brush from Unique. I actually just got my set of eye brushes from Unique and I've been trying to um, play with them and test them out. And I have to admit, they are very nice, uh, high quality brushes. Um, I don't own any of the face brushes yet. I'm hoping to soon. I'm building my collection here. Um, what I like about Innocent is there's no shimmer to this. And the yellow, as opposed to it being a white, is very brightening on the skin. But it doesn't have um, tons of shimmer that kind of settles into some of the places that you might not want it to settle in. Okay, so now let's talk about this amazing new product. It is the Splurge Cream Shadow. I literally lost my mind when I opened this up. First of all, I thought, just like everybody, other presenters have been making videos, like, what is this stuff? It looks kind of like a, like a marshmallow, or I thought like a sponge almost. Um, and I have to say, uh, I have a, a very eclectic mix of makeup, and I have never seen something quite like this. Um, so let me just show you some on my hand. So this is the Splurge Cream Shadow. And I'm hoping that you can see this in the light. It's uh, just got this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. I, I can't get over it. Um, it, it is literally gonna be the makeup product I use all summer. Like this and BB cream and lashes and that's gonna be my way out the door. Throw a lip gloss in my pocket. Um, it's just got this gorgeous payout of beautiful sparkle and color, but it's not like Barbie glitter. Uh, it's. Uh, it's, it's amazing. The color is elegant. It was the color that was released March 1st. Uh, every month we are going to be releasing uh, new colors. The next one I'm so excited is actually launching April 1st and I just cannot wait to build up a collection of these cream shadows because this is a really cool product. Um, I used to be really into, uh, and I still love some of my MAC paint pots. However, they're the it just does not seem to go on as easily and smoothly as, as this does, is this is like a softer cream product where I feel like my MAC paint pots, I almost really had to grind my brush into them or especially over time as they were like drying out. And then um, I just didn't get quite the color payout that I feel like I get with this one. Um, when I first got this shadow and I tried it, my, even my husband who, you know, 
is no, by any stretch of the imagination, really noticing uh, a ton of things about my makeup. He just kind of notices whether it looks good or not. Uh, he said, did you do something new? Did you get some new makeup? Because it was just so sparkly and glimmery. I went to the dentist. The lady was like, your eyeshadow is amazing. I'm like, I know. Um, so the next color that I'm going to use, so that was sort of like, I focused on the center of my lid. Not, you know, not too far into each corner, just mostly patting it onto the centers of my lid. And then the next color I'm going to use is a color called Confident. And it's kind of a, mm, it's a nice shimmery brown. And I'm going to use um, a crease brush, which looks like this. This is a unique crease brush. Um, it's kind of got a stiffer uh, bristles so that I have lots of control. You could use any kind of crease brush for this, but I'm gonna just kind of focus on my outer corner here. And I'm really trying to hit that brow bone. Just kind of coax that to look like how you want it to look. Okay, and then I'm going to come back with my uh, other side of my liner shader brush here and um, use the liner side, and I'm going to dip that into that confident, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to come halfway in on this outer edge on each eye to give my, um, my lower lash line a little bit of emphasis. And then... I'm going to take um, the next color I'm going to use. It's a color that actually my sister turned me on to uh, that I wouldn't have necessarily given a whole lot of attention to, but it's called Gorgeous. And it's kind of a really like coppery, pretty, uh, it is really just a phenomenal color. And I'm going to use the Deluxe Shadow Brush, which is kind of a fluffier brush by nature. Um, and I'm going to get plenty of pigment well into the bristles and then just tap off the excess. I'm going to use this to kind of marry the two colors of the cream shadow and soften that confident right like where they come together. So that is the goal with that. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm actually going to just kind of walk on the wild side here. and do a little bit um, on the inner lower lash line. Okay, so that's all I'm doing with my shadows. I am a big believer in um, making sure that you're really well blended. So, you know, definitely take your kind of fluffier brush and making sure that you're really um, blended and, you know, everything's kind of looking exactly like you want it to look. And that's another reason why I always do my eyes first because I want to have uh, the opportunity to clean up any kind of, you know, fallout underneath my eyes. So I, uh, for liner, actually really like Laura Mercier Pancake Liner. It's actually, yeah, it's a, this is called Black Ebony, and it's kind of like a really stiffly packed powder that has a, a really um, high pigment, and I use Polydorf Transformer. This is like the oldest bottle on earth, and it's embarrassing that I'm putting this on camera right now, but whatever. You can get it for like 20 bucks on Amazon, or you can get it at like Nordstrom if they still have Polydorf stuff. That was where I was first introduced to it. Um, I think this is the second bottle I've ever purchased in my whole life in the last like 12, 15 years. So it lasts a long time. Um, and I'm going to use a Sigma eyeliner brush. This is the Sigma eyeliner E05. Uh, it's just kind of my brush du jour right now. Um, I've got lots of different eyeliner brushes that I really like. And so, um, because again, I don't have a ton of color right now from like sunshine and being outside, uh, I still feel like my go-to cat eye is just going to help me, um, really get that, uh, pop of drama that I feel like I kind of still need in the spring. Okay, and I did in fact mess that up, which is okay. I'll go in and fix that without 
too big of an issue. That's what this brush is perfect for. 